Hi, Russ here. And in this video, I just want to introduce myself and show you some of the work that I've done so you can make a, an informed and educated decision about what I like to work with and whether or not we'll be a good fit and with you know and whether or not we're going to be suitable. Now, as you may be able to hear from my dulcet tones, I'm a British national and I've been a technical writer for about 20 odd years now and a technical copywriter for eight or nine years. And I've got a lot of experience with working with SaaS software companies, um, about two decades of experience, to be fair, um, going back to the old waterfall days um, of the, all, the, all the big bulky PRDs and BRDs and things like that, up to the more agile days. Like, for example, when I was senior uh, content writer in the marketing at Guardrails, I wrote most of their web copy here. In fact, I wrote all of this on the front page and um, for the development leaders, security engineers and executives, their scanning techniques, integrations, uh, that wasn't mine enterprise, pricing, and the resources like blogs and the white papers and ebooks, plus the case studies, and so on and so forth. These are three of the five white, white papers I wrote for guardrails. The first one here, how to build a DevSecOps pipeline, that's aimed at a problem aware audience. This is calling out the industry problem and showing that you've got the solution to that problem. It's an authority and positioning piece. And the, the next two are what we call solution aware pieces where you're advancing your reader or your prospect on their buyer's journey towards you and just showing them that you've got the solution or telling them that you've got the solution. You don't actually uh, give them the solution, of course, that's in the next steps when they talk to you. But those are just several of the white papers that I wrote for them. Um, here's uh, one of the blog posts. Shift left the ultimate guide to security. This is one of four blog posts. It was a big piece that I wrote for them. And if I just switch over to Explorer, here you can see this is the what are the orange of shift left. Um, this is, as I say, it was a, a four part series and we published it as four blog posts and then put it into this lead magnet here. If I just flick back waterfall, testing, Hobson's choice, etc. Another blog post I wrote for them was what's the difference between AppSec, software security, cybersecurity, and DevSecOps. And in this one, I actually show off my graphic design skills by, this is a, an image that I designed. Uh, the branding is guardrails, of course. I just did the line images. And it, it took me a, like, a little bit of fiddling about to, to kind of get that. But again, this is like a higher level problem, just you know, calling out something that people have questions about in the industry. This is good for search, for SEO, for getting uh, visitors and getting eyes on the blog posts. Another more recent um, uh, software security, or sorry, a security company is Who is Freaks. They specialize in OSINT, open source intelligence. And here's several blog posts that I wrote for them. Um, I did the images for these as well, so please excuse my, my poor graphic design skills. And another one is the power of reverse, uh, reverse who is lookups. Likewise there, and this one here was, I think it was the first one I wrote from who is demystified, safeguarding against cyber threats. So like I said, I've got a lot of experience with SaaS organizations, and particularly um, cybersecurity related. Um, identity and access management, application security, OS end, etc. And if I may, I'll just show you some of my other, other work, which I've done here. I did some work several years ago for Empower ID, which was, which is the identity and access management company. And this is a report that I wrote for Patrick. Patrick is the, Patrick Parker, the CEO of Empower ID. And here's a, most aware piece that I wrote for Microsoft several years ago. This white paper was called Freelance in a Box. This was the prelude to the, um, the Freelancer Toolbox, I think it was finally called when it went live. But this is a, what we call a most aware paper. This is when customers are already using your products and you just you get a new solution, which um, because they're already using your existing products, then it's an easy switch for them to adopt this new solution if it's in fit in fitting with their um, business plan and requirements, etc., etc. And I wrote several 
white papers from Microsoft on this. So hopefully that gives you a good insight into the work that I've done, my capabilities, skills and experiences. And I very much look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.